So behind me, we're starting to excavate for our brand new test site. And this is an option for contractors, dealers, and whatnot to get into our facility here, be able to try these products before you buy. There's nothing more frustrating than buying something that isn't a good fit for you. We have one particular test plan for behind me in this pit that we're building. We are going to do some testing with our hybrid edging up against some of the other manufactured products in the market. Not to be critical, but just to show just how strong and how durable the hybrid edging is. We got our inline scale, our come along, hooked to our chain system. What you're looking at here is a poly modified concrete. So this has got the fiberglass reinforcement in it. We've got our steel, heavy quarter inch uh, angle iron, four by four. And we also have our level here. So we're gonna see at what rate this type of system fails at. So this particular test here, poly modified, edge restraint up against our uh, border stone with the angle iron. And the test begins. So regarding poly reinforced concrete edging, we saw movement almost immediately as we started our test. We saw that system just literally start to do lateral shifting. But we were able to gain some, a little bit of uh, weight resistance there. And it did get up to around two, 250, where we started to see over a quarter of an inch. But then that system just literally continued to, uh, to move outward. And we did get a maximum reading, I believe, 372. And without that connection to the earth, there really is nothing really biting in to hold it from lateral shifting. 364, 368, 370. And I feel it loosening up, 360. 364, 362, 360, 356. So dropping, 338, 320, I lost all my strength. For this test, we've used the poly modified concrete. We did build this to spec. However, this is an 80 mil paver, which I have added quite a bit of depth to the concrete, building it to the spec that's on the uh, particular product. So 50 pound bag to this length. But you can see right around 200 pounds, we were deflecting a quarter to a half inch on the system. And then at 372 pounds was the highest rating we got where it was total failure. We got a great opportunity here. We're doing a test on our hybrid HD edging. I've got it installed up against our border stone. This would simulate the border of a general patio. Most of your pressure being on that outside edge. I've installed it to standard practice with every other uh, pocket for the hybrid stake to be installed. Again, something more extreme or commercial, we'd probably want to use every. This is for residential. We also have our angle iron here. It's just a piece of heavy uh, quarter by quarter angle iron. And we just simply set this behind the pavers. We also have our straight edge here. So as we apply horizontal pressure set up to our system, this will tell us exactly weight wise and then at what point this system would fail. You can see set up to a chain system. We have our little hoist here and we have our inline scale and that's set to zero. We're gonna apply pressure with the chain fall here and see what kind of lateral uh, pressure we can withstand with our edging. Test HD hybrid edging, stakes every other hole. Lateral movement. Hundred eighty, hundred ninety, two hundred pounds. So the hybrid edging, we found that at right around six hundred pounds, we started to see a measurable amount of movement. From six hundred, then all the way up to eight hundred pounds, that's when we really saw those hybrid stakes really lock in. 
and from 800 pounds all the way up to over that 1,000 pound rating, there was no movement at all before it then literally just totally failed. But it's very interesting. So that 800 pounds and up, that's when those stakes locked in. And over time, those stakes are even gonna lock in even more as they get a little bit of rust around them and start to fasten and stick to the surrounding stones around it. That system's gonna even perform even better when it's in the ground over time. How are we holding up? Nine thirty. Test for HD hybrid edging is complete. We saw at a thousand forty pounds, plus or minus a couple pounds there was our max, and at that point, we only had about a quarter, plus or minus, deflection, and that was really due to these two ends. We saw the steel actually deflecting and bending, which really was the, um, the cause or start of the, uh, of the failure. As you can see, putting this edging through extreme paces, it still is in perfect condition to be reinstalled. So if you take our edging, our system, 200 linear feet, comes in a bundle, with the hybrid stakes, two boxes. That whole system to do 200 feet is 124 pounds. The spec that I just did in this test, I used a 50 pound bag for the eight linear feet, plus five pounds of water. 55 pounds to do eight feet, that's 1,375 pounds to do 200 linear feet. 1,375 as opposed to our 124 pounds, and you're getting three to four times the lateral shift strength. Your crew is late 800, 1200, 1500 square feet in the day. Now at the end of the day, you're gonna tell them, head out to the trailer, grab that concrete, and bring it into the backyard with the wheelbarrow and the hoe, and we're gonna mix it, we're gonna put on our border. Is that really what we're trying to do in our industry? I think it's worth considering easing the installation process and taking that hard out of hardscaping.